the website goop 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 Ugh. hey guys i'm abby sharp welcome to a special new series on abby's kitchen called the ridiculous now this week's episode is brought to you by the quintessential minefield of bullshit goop Oh yes, everyone's most hated entrepreneur, Miss Gwyneth Paltrow, has really done her due diligence curating a beautiful list of absolute pieces of So today I want to share with you some of the most ridiculous items you can buy on the Goop website that definitely deserve a pass. Let's do this. Okay, so first up on the ridiculous is this Corella powder by Sun Potion. So you're supposed to drink some water with a half a teaspoon of Corella algae as part of your morning ritual, of course. Um, and apparently what it can do is activate your brain, nourish your organs, support digestive cycles. That sounds pretty legit. And uh, this is gonna cost you about 35 bucks per 100 grams. So let's talk about Corella. So Corella is a single-celled freshwater green algae, which sounds pretty healthy right off the bat because we got green in there and we all know green things are good for us. Um, but a lot of people see this as a superfood because it's got protein, it's got omega-3s, iron, vitamin B12, vitamin C, all the good stuff going on. But the research on Corella when it comes to health is definitely super early and preliminary. So early research suggests that it might help with immunity, maybe preventing chronic diseases, possibly even lowering cholesterol. However, it's pretty much impossible to know how much Corella you would actually need to consume in order to see any of these benefits. It's also worth noting that while the FDA has deemed Corella as generally recognized as safe, a lot of people do complain that it causes some digestive issues and kind of upset stomach and all that kind of jazz. So it doesn't necessarily mean that there's no side effects. Also, we should probably make it known that nutritional supplements are not very well regulated. So it's really hard to know the nutrition content of the Corella because it could depend on the species and the processing. So bottom line, while there's not a whole lot of harm in taking a Corella supplement, for the $35 price tag, I'd say you can get a lot more bang for your buck. I mean, come on, you could get a really good quality bottle of wine. And hey, there's antioxidants there too. So that's probably what I'd be going for. Number two on the ridiculous is the Amethyst bottle. So this is 84 bucks for a bottle of Lord knows what this is. Apparently it's an amethyst crystal in a bottle that infuses the water with positive energy. And apparently amethyst is thought to help transform negative energy and enhance psychic abilities. Mm. I am feeling like my credit card bill is going to be really, really big this month because it's 84 dollars. You know, I was at the beach this summer and my kid put a rock in a bucket of water and I should have sold that for like 84 bucks and taken a tip out of Miss Gwyneth Paltrow's hat. All right, let's talk about some of the research on amethyst. In the world of alternative medicine, crystals are king. Okay, so basically there's very little research out there on crystals because who wants to waste their, their well-earned grant money on this bull but one study in 2001 that was not actually published, and I wonder why, found that the power of crystals is in the eye of the beholder. In other words, we're talking about the placebo effect, which in my opinion applies to pretty much everything on the Goop website. So basically what they did in this study was they gave everyone a questionnaire and they found that the individuals who had greater belief in like spiritual abilities and psychic abilities and things like that experienced greater sensations from using the crystals than the non-believers. Hmm, I wonder why. So, I would say, don't go drinking rock water, save your money, just drink regular water, and you'll be okay. Why would you spend 84 bucks on a fucking rock on, in water? Bottom line, drinking water is a smart thing to do. Drinking water that costs you $84 because there's a rock inside the bottle, not so smart. Next, and last but definitely not least when it comes to the ridiculous level, paper crane apop paper crane apothecary. Paper crane apothecary psychic vampire. Why is this hard to say? It's because it doesn't want me to say it because it's just so bad. Paper crane apothecary psychic vampire. Vampire. <sighs> Not enough cupping. And last but definitely not least when it comes to the ridiculous level, paper crane apothecary psychic vampire repellent protection mist. 
That is a mouthful of crap. All right, so this is a protective mist that uses a combination of gem healing and deeply aromatic healing essential oils. So what it can do apparently is banish bad vibes and shield you from the people who may be causing them. I'm just not gonna say what just came to my mind. All right, ingredients include sonically tuned water, rose water, grain alcohol, sea salt, colloidal silver, therapeutic grade oils consisting of rosemary, juniper, and lavender, a unique and complex blend of gem elixirs, including, but not limited to, black tourmaline, lapis lazuli, ruby, ruby labradorite, bloodstone, aqua aura, black onyx, garnet, pyrite, and numite, reiki sound waves they've somehow gotten sound waves in here that's amazing moonlight love reiki charts charged crystals how the fuck are they getting love in this thing like whose love is this like gwyneth paltrow's love i don't want her love i don't want it that is the last thing i want but moonlight i'd be down with that okay so like what could the research possibly say on vampire repellent well let me tell you folks not much. So I don't actually know what this vampire repellent smells like, uh, partially because A, it costs $27 and I don't have $27 to spend uh, trying to get rid of the vampires in my life. And B, surprisingly and disturbingly, it's sold out somehow. But possibly it smells so bad it keeps people away. So I guess what I'll give you is that essential oils can help regulate moods in some way. So maybe that helps to banish the bad vibes, but vampires, no. Bottom line, the only reason I would spend $27 on this stuff is to banish the bad vibes that Gwyneth Paltrow keeps hurling at us via goop. So I'm gonna give this one a hard, hard pass. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this edition of The Ridiculous. If you did, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with any ridiculous things and products you have seen on the internet. I would love to hear about them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.